All right, so let's look at the Schwab Intelligent Portfolios, a review from InvestorJunkie.com. Uh, someone had sent this to me earlier today. Been on a Schwab rant today. In a rant in a good way. Good way. Good rant. Good rant. What's the opposite of rant? Um, I don't know. But anyway, good good rant. So uh, this is InvestorJunkie.com, uh, 31 to, uh, 23 December 2019. I, I don't know anything about InvestorJunkie.com. But uh, so we're just going to kind of quickly read this uh Schwab is the creator of the popular, well, we all know Schwab, RoboVisor, as Schwab likes to call them, automated investing services have become popular in the last few years. Uh, Schwab's fee-free intelligent portfolio is competent and offers a wide range of his own ETFs. The service, service also offers tax loss harvesting, which is a big plus. Might be a bit too pricey for new and small investors. Nah, no way, man. Uh, Schwab, of course, has an edge and that's part of the Schwab family. Every time I sit over here and do a video, Pavel wants to come up. And... <laughs> I think he thinks I'm eating something. This is where I normally eat when uh, when at lunch. I don't have anything to eat, buddy. I got no food. Uh, similar to other popular robo advisors, uh, Schwab's is professionally managed, fully automated investment portfolio. Uh, it'll be allocated among a uh, risk profile, blah, blah, blah. It'll be rebalanced daily as necessarily. Uh, tax loss harvesting is available on accounts with a minimum of $50,000. Uh, you'll also be able to take advantage of the investment options that Schwab has through Schwab. Uh, it uh, offers a virtually unlimited selection of investments, including, okay, is it possible have, uh, it's possible to have Schwab investment and intelligent portfolios managed for you while maintaining a self-directed portfolio? Okay, well, that's good. Uh, for as little as 5000 bucks, you can uh, you can start with intelligent portfolios. I, I don't know why you would not do that. I just, I don't. Uh, here's the fees. Minimum investment, 5000 Fees are none. You could do it in uh, all kinds of accounts. Uh, I'm sure revocable living trust here as well, which he doesn't say. Yep, he says trust right there. So everything other than a qualified retirement account. Uh, portfolio rebalancing, tax loss harvesting, smart beta, socially responsible, fractional shares. I think, isn't it coming down the pike? It's coming down the pike. Anyway, it, I don't, it doesn't matter. Um, uh, they got local branches, low fees. Uh, the conservative portfolio is six basis points. The moderate portfolio is 15 and the aggressive portfolio is, fifth, is 20 basis points. Again, one basis point is one one hundredth of one percent, folks. So just keep that in mind. Uh, so uh, a one percentage point is a hundred basis points. So there's a hundred basis points and one percent. So a twenty basis points means is one fifth of one percent, or twenty basis points, or point two percent. Let's see goals. Uh, let's see. So let's keep going down. Um, Let's see the model portfolio. Uh, let's see right here. Okay, so the ETFs included in the Schwab Intelligent Portfolio, and I did notice this one. I was at, looking at Schwab again. I'm not going to open an account yet because I have my stuff at USA. I'm just going to wait for USA to transition to Schwab, and I'm going to put this in here for sure. Uh, Schwab U.S. Large Cap, which is the cap weighted Schwab Fundamental, uh, which is uh, index. So let's take a look at the fundamental, and I, I think that's their smart beta or their equal weighted. So. Uh, this is the Schwab Fundamental Index ETFs, a pioneer in fundamental index strategies. It uh, help you gain access to an innovative ind indexing approach that offers comp that offers a complement to traditional market cap weighted and actively managed strategies. Okay, fundamental index strategies can serve as a complement to traditional market cap weighted index, uh, providing investors with more potential for attractive risk adjust returns across various market cycles. It's a uh, fundamental weighted uh, portfolio diversification. Okay, feature funds. Well, that doesn't really say. Okay, right here. Uh, two strategic. Uh, st let's take a look what this is here. Oh, man, I got register. Okay. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it is. Is it equal weighted or if it's fundamental based on some. Uh, does it got a register? Yeah, I don't want to do that. So I, I don't know. I mean, at the end of the I look, I think a uh, oh, view fund right here. Let's take a look. Broad market index ETF. Okay, let's see here. Is that, do I have to register to see that? No, sweet. All right, so uh, straightforward, low cost fund offering potential tax efficiency, uh, simple access to U.S. companies based on fundamental measures, tracks an index that selects and weights securities based on three fundamental measures of company, uh, adjusted sales, retain operating cash flow, dividends plus buybacks. Okay, there you go. So it's fundamental. It's not, it's not equal weighted, excuse me. So a fundamental index means they're using factors, which is what the Eugene French, uh, Ken, was it Ken French, Eugene Fama, or is it Eugene Fama, Ken, no, is it Ken, 
Yes, Ken French, Eugene Fama, they have their factor portfolio. So they used to have the three factor. Now I think it's five. Uh, but the factors are just the fundamentals. All right. They're looking at, in this case, adjusted sales, retained operating cash flow and dividends plus buybacks. All right. That looks pretty good to me. So that would mean the, the portfolio would be uh, sliced and diced differently than what an equal weighted cap index or a market weighted cap index would be or an equal weighted cap index. So a market weighted cap index is the biggest yeah, I guess what is Apple has, like I said, I did a video a couple weeks ago where Apple is like one, uh, 300 times as large in the S&P 500 as TripAdvisor, but they're both in the S&P 500. An equal-weighted index, the TripAdvisor would be zoops, and Apple would be zoops, so they'd be equally weighted. Fundamental, they're going to use it based on the fundamentals right there. I, I'm okay with that for sure. Um, so let's see. Uh, uh, 300 million, um, yeah, only 300 million assets. Wow. Uh, that's not that much. I would have thought it'd be more, but that's okay. Uh, Morningstar category is large value, uh, not high turnover, 13%. Um, I'm just trying to see what the holdings are. Charges portfolio. Okay. There we go. Portfolio. Um, portfolio. Oh, here we go. So it is 17 financials, 15 industrials, 11. So that's a pretty good mix there. Top 10 holdings. Apple is five. Microsoft is number two. Uh, at five percent, Microsoft is number two at two percent. Exxon is number two, three at two. So interesting. So we're seeing a lot more value-oriented stocks, which I like actually. Uh, Chevron, Berkshire, Intel, J.P. Morgan, Exxon, Apple, and Microsoft. Um, I, I see. I'm not even sure those be considered growth stocks anymore. But anyway, definitely the holdings are more value-oriented, which is good. I like that. Uh, price to earnings ratio 18.7, so significantly lower than the. Uh, uh, the, the market cap would be or a growth uh, position be priced a book look at that 2.3 that's not bad return on equity so um uh, yeah okay good that works for me man I'm a, I'm a fan of that for sure so that's going to be their they're going to have that in there the fundamental plus they're going to have the market base or the cap weighted as well so i like it i love man i freaking i love this i love what schwab's doing there's no other way around that um and then they got uh actually they're using vanguard global uh Exchange Traded Real Estate Investment Trust. That's kind of cool. All right, sweet. They got a Vanguard uh, ETF in there. Another Vanguard ETF. Uh, I don't know what this Master Limited Partnerships. I don't know what that would be, but all right, cool. So there you go, man. A breakdown of the, uh, let's see real quick. I want to see if I miss anything. Uh, unusual asset stock allocations. They got REITs, high dividends, Master Limited Partnerships, um, bank. All right. So they're, they're spreading their stuff across the board, man. I got no qualm with that. That's almost like a seven twelve portfolio that my man, uh, Craig is and uses, uh, pros. Let's see the cons, large cash allocation uh, set to 30%. I don't know about that, but six to 10% large tilt to small cap stocks, a larger percentage compared to the competitions allocated small cap stocks. Investments will round down to the nearest whole share when investing. I think they are going to offer fractional shares shortly. Um, I like it, man. So I'm, I'm a big fan, as I told you before. So that is the breakdown of the Schwab uh, investments that you have within the uh, intelligent portfolios. You have fundamental and you have market cap or market weighted uh, index. I like it. So I'm going to be investing this for sure. I will right, we'll see you.